Sector Wars play Astro Blaster. If you destroy my city, if... Ha 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 ha. Alert. The intruder must not escape. Dragon's Lair. The fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight. She will be taped for into space body. Boy, he doesn't write the news, he just delivers it. Money! Big prizes! I love it! Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Arabian Fight. And this was created by Sega. Uh, created in 1991, but released in arcades in 1992 from what I've heard but uh, this is a uh, beat-em-up and this was suggested by YouTube user Nathan Williams and the game looks largely unfinished uh, it's quite possible that it was not replicated correctly or emulated correctly in MAME the emulator MAME but uh, even then I probably wouldn't be very interested in it it's a beat em up for up to four players at once. You can play four players simultaneous play, uh, or you could just play solo or two or three players at once. But uh, you get to choose between four different characters. Um, there is uh, an adventurer named Sinbat. <laughs> Not Sinbad, Sinbat. Uh, there's a, a gypsy type of girl named Ramaya. Uh, there's a fighter named Goldor. And there's a monk type of character named Data. And uh, they have the basic uh, final fight type of combination attacks when you wail on the buttons. Um, when you're near an opponent, you can grab an opponent an opponent and throw them uh, when you get when you touch them uh, you can use punch or uh, attack and jump buttons together to do a special attack that will drain a little bit of your life bar um, and you will also have a magic attack in this game if you collect a magic lamp and uh, one thing that's really stupid about this game is uh, if you uh, collect a magic lamp and then leave the scene after beating a, a certain number of bad guys or whatever, you will lose the lamp, any lamps that you had. But we'll go ahead and get started. I will begin with Sinbat. <laughs> I'm sure that's a just Japanese uh, English. Um, but you will have time for other players to join in after you select your character. You will get little cutscenes here and there. This game utilizes uh, sprite scaling that's kind of reminiscent of uh, Pit Fighter, a game by Atari Games, a little, little bit before this game. And some of the sprite scaling is really clumsy. And uh, it looks like you're walking over uh, the walls or the edges of the screen in a really comical way. I did not get the opportunity to get a couple lamps in the background. But even if I did, I would lose them when I went to this next screen, which is really stupid. <laughs> There's some goofy... Uh, Sound effects. Yeah! <laughs> um, and there's uh, just some really broken uh, elements of this game. This is the first boss here, and he has a chain. Uh, you know, a sickle and a chain or whatever that he can hit you with. And there is an attack that I'm using, a magic, magic attack. And you press both 
buttons together when you have collected a magic lamp. If you do not have a magic lamp in your position when you use the uh, attack and jump buttons together, you will just do the special attack which drains a little bit of your life. If you can get close to the enemy and throw them, that causes a lot of damage. And your main goal is to uh, save the princess. And her name is uh, Princess Lurana. And in actuality, she is the sister of the selectable character Ramaya. That is revealed later on in the game. But um, the only the only real good thing about this game, in my opinion, is the cool uh, animated cutscene when you uh, execute a magic attack. And the magic attacks themselves can be kind of cool. And I think depending on what stage you're on, you can uh, your magic attack will be different. And there are like, I don't know, six different uh, magic attacks you can do. But uh, it doesn't matter if you have uh, two magic lamps the attack will be the same depending on you know what level you're you're on and uh, when you have the magic lamp in your possession you'll see in the bottom left it says magic and you just press the two buttons together sometimes your combo attack will work okay on on an enemy and sometimes they'll be able to get a punch in And here's another boss here. But if you can if you can manage to to get to your opponent close and uh, and throw them, there's another uh, magic attack. Then you'll be able to throw them. I like that attack. You see the the genies fly about. No matter where you're at when you cast the magic spell, I mean, even if you're far away from the boss, whoops, you might still be able to, uh, you'll, you'll still be able to hurt them with the magic. And sometimes even with your... <laughs> That's kind of broken, it keeps repeating. Um, yeah, sometimes with your uh, just special attack that drains your life bar, you can still... Uh, hit the enemy from far away or not even on the same plane as the enemy. And now we have these little uh, Cleopatra uh, type of enemies or, or uh, Egyptian uh, hieroglyph type of enemies. Yeah, this game just feels very broken at times. The, uh, the sound effects might loop as you uh, exit a maze or a, a, a stage it just sounds very very broken and the fighting itself feels very broken at times oops died there are like uh, seven stages in this game and it just this game just doesn't interest me I've never seen this in arcades never heard of it there's another game called uh, Arabian Magic it's not related to this. That one was created by uh, Taito. And now we have these uh, swordsman statues. And the swordsman statue can uh, cast magic at you. But yeah, you can collect lamps. You can collect uh, bonus items to give you more points. And uh, you can collect food items to replenish your life bar sometimes from these uh, treasure chests or boxes or, or whatever uh, are breakable. And that was my uh, life draining uh, move. Uh, Sinbat, I just can't get over that, will uh, split into three guys. And 
that knife there, I believe, is just bonus points. For some reason, this guy isn't able to hit me here. I have to hit him one more time once he's a, a disarmed statue. And that's that. Now we go to uh, stage three. We will look at all the different characters. You have a, a dash move with each character. Just double tap uh, left or right and you'll run and you can press the attack button uh, while you're running to do a uh, dash attack move. And now we face the uh, flying demon that we saw take the princess away. Uh, he can uh, he can do a dash attack to you, and he can like uh, there's that dash attack, and he can do like a special attack there that can hurt you, some sort of sonic attack, and he can pick you up and drop you and hurt you. You will uh, lose life if you run out of time, I believe. Ah, his dash attack uh, nullified my dash attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this game just isn't isn't terribly good. Uh, like I said, it might have. Uh, there's another uh, magic attack, and this is a water-based attack, I guess. But yeah, this game just does not feel finished. And again, it might. Uh, some of it is probably Mame not finishing or uh, Mame not emulating it completely correctly. And your character falls over if uh, they uh, lose both lives. And then you'll have a chance to continue, and I elected not to there, but we will look at at least parts of the rest of the game and all the other characters. Yeah, you need to have at least 6,000 points. It's hard to score much in this game. I had like 4,000 something, so I didn't make the high score list. I couldn't put my put in my initials. But now we'll select Ramaya. She is very weak. And her life bar will deplete quickly. <laughs> but her uh, life draining attack is this sort of hula hoop looking uh, spin move. We'll look at all the characters too with the uh, magic attacks. But again, that's really stupid. If you collect a lamp, and then a part of the stage ends. You will lose that lamp. You will have to collect another one. Another one. And this boss here is a uh, Medusa type of snake woman. And we're just going to scoot forward uh, to uh, different parts of the game. We're not going to do a playthrough throughout because that just, that just takes too damn long. And now we go to this pirate ship. And there's this ghost thing that you have to beat up first. Whether or not you destroy those barrels, you will face uh, you will face a bunch of skeletons. And here's the a boss or a mini boss that you faced uh, earlier in the game. The guy with the uh, and I think we faced him earlier in the game. The guy with the uh, the sickle and the chain. But yeah, if you can get close and throw an enemy, you can cause mass damage to them with uh, just a throw. And here's their uh, thunder magic. I do like that animated uh, sequence where they cast the spell. <laughs> what? Whoa! Raggy! What <laughs> just looping goofy sound effects you will a couple times in the game get a bonus stage there's nothing that you gain for getting for destroying all the barrels and getting all the items absolutely nothing gained I mean just you just are able to collect all the items there's no bonus or nothing just collect as many as you can on the way out and uh, that's the end of that stage. And again, there are a total of seven stages. And 
I, uh, I forget the name of the final boss of the game, but he uses magic against you. He's fast. Kinda cheap. He's got a sword. And once you beat him, then you have rescued uh, Princess Lurana, who again is the sister of this character, Ramaya. Some of the uh, sound effects from the enemies are very goofy. And sometimes uh, the game just kind of almost loses track of where you are. It almost tries to push you off the screen with its uh, very clumsy uh, sprite scaling or scrolling. Very, very uh, irritating. But yeah, this game just feels very broken. That's just got a wat another water attack. My favorite uh, magic attack is probably one where you have a bunch of uh, miniature versions of you that attack the enemies. <laughs> it's, we'll see that later. It's kind of funny. We'll just let's go forward. This guy's kind of like Karnov. Big and fat and breathes fire on you. And now we'll uh, elect to continue. And we'll use Goldor. I remember a character named uh, Goldor from a uh, Konami uh, versus fighting game called uh, Martial Champion. Uh, this guy is very different. This guy might be my favorite. He's he's the strongest, and his uh, throw attack is the strongest. Picks an enemy up over his head and throws him. Yeah, that's that's cheap. The uh, enemy did some sort of like rolling attack there, and they hit me from far away. That was kind of stupid. Well, folks, I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I'll be indoors uh, all of Memorial Day, probably because it's going to be uh, raining like crazy. And, uh, something happened there. <laughs> I guess he died in the fire there or something. I guess that's what that indicates. But you will sometimes uh, take a flying carpet to the next stage. And there will be one brief stage or part of a stage where you will use the flying carpet and fly around and fight enemies. And that's one of the easiest parts of the game. We'll just scoop forward to uh, me losing a life, starting to use my second life. There will be crystals, and uh, sometimes from broken uh, crates or whatever, that uh, will just be bonus points, as far as I can tell. Some, some of the characters will have a move a special move when you press down and jump and attack and his is some I'm not sure what he does but oh wow does that look cheesy boy if that was in the uh, arcade original that's completely unforgivable <laughs> while well, scooting forward a little we'll uh, we'll have uh, gold or die but I will choose him again because I don't remember if I showed him uh, use a uh, magic attack yet. But yeah, his, uh, his throwing attack is strongest. And if you can throw the enemies, definitely do so. It, it, it really, really hurts him. And there's uh, one of his magic attacks that didn't even have a... Uh, animated cutscene, which was kind of lame. We'll scoot forward to uh, me beating this part of the stage. <laughs> yeah, it's just broken. The uh, voice sample repeating as you go to the next stage, or part of the stage. Yeah, I've never seen this one before, and it's not very good. Yeah, his uh, life-draining attack is just this spinning fist move. There's a, a wind type of magic attack. 
But yeah, there's only like six different magic attacks. Yeah, part way through, this boss will transform into one of those flying demons that carried off the uh, princess. <laughs> this is just not a not a particularly memorable or good uh, uh, beat em up. I was uh, definitely happy enough with the original uh, Final Fight game. Sometimes the enemy will just have a sliver of life and you can't tell that they have any life left and then they start coming at you and you're like, what? That I killed him. Then you have a, another bonus stage after this. And we'll just scoot forward to me moving on. Those uh, giant pieces of meat that sometimes come out from the, the treasures, they give you the most life back. I can't remember if it's all life. I don't think it is all, all your life back. There's the uh, miniature uh, magic attack. I love that one. on move on to this part and like I was saying earlier this is the easiest part you really only have to hit the enemy once and you've beaten them so just don't let him sneak up on you there we go and we've got another demon to take care of and another That was brief, wasn't it? <laughs> and we've got these uh, martial artists. And some of them can throw things at you, so watch out. Don't get too far away from them and on the same plane as them. There's another uh, magic attack. But yeah, the one, the one boss that uh, when you beat, <laughs> he sounds like Scooby-Doo, just cracks me up. <laughs> Especially when the, the game gets broken and uh, his voice repeats as, the, as you go to the next part of the stage. And now we're going to look at, uh, what's his name, Data? D-A-T-T-A? And we'll look at uh, his special attack. He does some sort of chi, chi blast uh, two ways on either side of him. It's a very, very helpful uh, special attack. But uh, each character has the uh, ability to do all six different magic attacks. And that they, they will look the same with with each character and again I think it just depends on which part of a stage you're in or which stage you're on that will determine uh, which magic attack you will use and again that's really stupid that uh, you will uh, you know, watch out for the rocks this guy throws that you will lose all your magic when you go to uh, the next part of a stage. You know, you leave the scene. Whee! <laughs> Some goofy freaking voice samples or sound effects. Oop, got knocked off the edge. Uh, I think uh, it might have been at this point where I just no, I chose uh, Data again. Uh, there was one point where I just settled on uh, Sinbat and just went with him the rest of the game. That's terrible, Sinbat. <laughs> but we'll just at least look at snippets of the rest of the game. And again, there are a total of uh, seven stages. And at the end, you face the the evil uh, wizard 
<laughs> it's the miniature magic attack again. Just very broken, unfinished looking uh, game. And uh, some of that is probably Mame not properly emulating this game. But uh, even with the game played correctly, or emulated correctly, I wouldn't be interested in it. There's, uh, there's meat in each corner of that stage that I just completed, so if you're running low, go to the corners for a piece of meat to refill your life. Now we've got multiple demons to deal with. There's a water magic attack. And we're getting close to the uh, wizard, the boss of the game, and we face uh, multiple car knobs. It's a thunder attack. What are your uh, Memorial Day plans? I'm, I'm not going to have really any actual Memorial Day plans other than trying to make a, a big old lasagna from scratch, probably. But uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be uh, heading up to uh, Memorial Cemetery with my mom so she can uh, visit her parents. My grandparents uh, passed, passed away like, God, more than 20 years ago. Goodness. Dia! Dia! Cats. Well, now we drop down to this area, and uh, you will face multiple shadow versions of yourself. And this is another one of the easiest parts of the game. These shadows are just total wussies. They don't. They don't take long to knock over. As long as you don't get, let them sneak up behind you. They're real easy to take down. And you got about five or six shadows that you got to take care of. And again, if you can uh, grab an enemy and throw them, you can cause major damage to them that way. Especially uh, bosses. And then you face another golden. Uh, skeleton and there was a uh, multiple it's <laughs> another uh, multiple genie magic attack and now this guy which we saw before will split up into multiple uh, smaller guys and they uh, they are very very sneaky and very agile a lot more than uh, they used to be in the earlier in the game There was at some point in this game where I put on like infinite magic or something. Uh, cheat. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. yeah just, just broken game. Now we got more uh, flying ghosts you have to take out. I just oh it's just so stupid I can't help but laugh <laughs> well I don't know if you've been watching much of the NBA playoffs but uh, my congratulations go to the Toronto Raptors for making their first NBA finals the first uh, Canadian team to uh, participate in the NBA finals <laughs> Of course, the Memphis Grizzlies used to be the Vancouver Grizzlies. Yeah, they, were, they were not near uh, uh, the NBA Finals as, as Vancouver. And here is the final boss, the wizard. And yeah, he can... Uh, 
use his sword, he can cast some sort of uh, magic at ya. And while he's doing that, you can easily sneak up behind him and start wailing on him. Let's just finish this butthole off and save Princess uh, Murana, the sister of the selectable character, Ramaya. Gee, and now we will reach the end of Arabian fight. And now you gotta put in your initials, but for some reason, after I put my initials in, the game forgot my middle initial. I don't know why that happened, but I've definitely got enough points to be on the high score list. Again, you need to have at least, I think it was 6,000. And there's the princess saved. And here's where they talk about, oh, she's the sister of Ramaya. And we, you get to see a particular ending for each character when you've beat the game. And we will see the ending for each character. Starting with uh, Sinbat. <laughs> That's just so awful. Sinbat. Yeah. <laughs> he gets like a uh, statue in his honor. There it is. That is Arabian Fight by Sega in 1992. And it ran on the uh, System 32 hardware. And you can play up to four players at once. And here's Ramaya's ending. And she gets a statue as well. And uh, next we will look at Goldor's ending. I guess he is promoted to like captain of the army or something and then he became a braggart and then he was demoted. And uh, next we will see uh, Data's ending, the, the Shaolin monk type of guy. He becomes a martial arts teacher or something. That is the uh, fairly broken uh, Arabian fight by Sega in 1992. Even though the attract mode says 1991, it was released in 1992. Well, that was Arabian Fight by Sega in 1992, and uh, I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Any time away from work is definitely uh, worthwhile. Well, this is Crazy Glamour Ready saying thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later with another video. Bye-bye, folks.